So this is the definition of simple solar right here. We've got an MPP Solar 1012. This is a 1000 watt inverter and it'll charge at 500 watts from solar. So this is a used 230 watt panel. We can see that we're charging at about 200 watts into the battery. You can plug in up to 800 watts worth of panels to here. For example, this is pointed at the sun and we're getting 200 watts, right? You're never gonna get that perfect 230, um, even with a brand new panel. I say never, you would in perfect conditions. Um, but you could do up to 800 watts in there. So if you got all your panels flat mounted somewhere, then you might still be able to get your 500 watts that it can use into your battery. And then what we've got down here is a 272 amp hour uh, battery that we built out of lysine cells. This is a 12 volt setup. So easy to integrate for uh, a smaller RV where you're not gonna have a whole lot of loads. So at a thousand watts, you know, these cables only have to handle around hundred amps. Uh, you start getting up into, you know, 3000 watt inverters on a 12 volt setup and you've, you've got some pretty sizable cables. But this works pretty well. We've got some PV wire that's 10 gauge, which is overkill for this. You can run one panel, you can run two panels, up to three of these panels on this system. If you did three, um, that would probably be in uh, all in parallel. So there'd be some extra fusing and whatnot to do. But hey, simple setup to start with. If you wanted something like this from us here at Bean Brothers, we've got all this. You wanna come buy this from me? Um, 1600 bucks and you could have all the major pieces that you need to set up your small solar system. This could also work really well for your emergency power. So if you wanna just sit this all in a shed and when Snowmageddon happens in 30 years and you'll be able to pull it out, throw some solar panels out in the yard and you at least have a battery and a, a charging setup where you can keep your freezer running and keep that food from, from going bad or more likely it's in the summer and maybe there was a windstorm that ran through here in Texas and uh, you lose your power for a few days and you know you could at least run your window air conditioner for a little while and keep yourself cool even if it was just you know let it charge during the day and and run it at night this would run a window unit for what probably five or six hours um, that might be a little optimistic it might be more like five hours but it's certainly capable what I did to it was just ran um, a power strip off of the AC output, which is kind of a simplistic way of doing it. Uh, this really should be um, breakered. There's an input breaker here for the AC input, but there's not an output breaker. This is straight up. So really should get a power strip or some other output source that has a, a breaker inside that will protect um, this wire here from having too much power going through it so that if something shorts here. But that's just to show as demonstration purposes that you've got solar in, uh, battery charging, AC output to your AC loads. Super simple.